Hello, beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm doing my mystic morning little thing. So I just kind of want to remind you guys while people are connecting here that I will be in Minnesota. I will be at the White Buffalo doing readings on the 21st and I will be doing an aura class of learning to see, smell, and taste your aura on the 20th, all at the White Buffalo. I'm also going to be in Minnesota, so if you guys have a psychic party or something that you can create together, I would be more willing to do that. I also can still do it on my uh, website and phone and Skype. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Desiree. And hi, Lisa. So today I'm going to talk about what do you settle for. And what I mean by that is because, blessings to you guys. Thank you for the hearts. So I did a, a psychic reading or a psychic party this weekend, and there were some beautiful, beautiful girls there. And they, one of them came in, and she was downplaying herself majorly for her work. And she was, I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? You're just settling. And she was very, very unique. Hi, Robert. Hi, Alex. <clears throat> Hi, John. Hi, Brittany. So she was really downplaying herself. And I was thinking, why? You know, Spirit was saying, okay, this is what you need to talk about. What are you settling for? Why is she settling? So we were, I was talking to her and asking her, why are you settling for just being just like everybody else? And she was trying to get into acting. And I was saying, well, you're not going to be noticed if you don't bring this uniqueness to her. And she was very, very gorgeous. She had this swag about her. She, it was like, you need to pump it up, you know, be a Marilyn Monroe, be a Jane, you know, Mae West. I mean, she was just gorgeous. And she had this use, really unique mystery about her and attraction about her. And she was downplaying it. So Spirit was saying, this is a good topic to talk about. Are you, what are you settling for? Are you settling it for at work? Are you like, I want everybody to like me, so I'm just settling and I'm not trying to go forward? Are you settling it for in a relationship? What are you doing in a relationship? Are you downplaying yourself? So Brittany says, oh, I knew I would resonate with this conversation. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. So it's kind of like, what are you settling for? Are you afraid to go forward? Okay. Hi, Lori. Good morning to you. Are you settling and are you afraid to go forward? So I'm going to use me as kind of a, a, a story. I was working at an archery place, don't hunt, and I was also afraid to just do this, do readings. Because, of course, the, the money, the, um, the security, all that things – but I was riding the two horses at the same time. I was doing the work during the day, and then I was doing the readings at night. And I had to jump and just say, I know that the universe is, because I'm allowing it, is going to bring me the prosperity, is going to bring me the clients, and it's going to, because I'm in my joy doing this. So I wasn't just going to settle to work at a place that I don't even do or even do in hunting. I was going to, I'm jumping. And that I wasn't going to just settle for that. And just like with my business now, I'm not going to just settle just doing this. Yes, I want to help billions of people. But have an intention. Have an intention. So like with the girl that I was talking about, like why are you settling? Go in and dress up like you feel like you want to dress up. If it's Betty Boop looking, that's okay because your, your uniqueness is what's going to get noticed. So are you settling, like I said, in a relationship? Hi, Matt. Hi, Pamela. So, so are you settling for in a relationship? Are you settling because you're like, oh, well, he's not or she's not going to like it if I up them, if I make more money than them, or that people uh, gravitate to me more than they do? You can't make anybody think what they're thinking or feel what they're feeling, okay? If you're vibrating at settling, you're just going to get settling. And then you're going to be sitting there praying going, why am I not going Further, Why am I not allowing the prosperity or the, my dreams to come true? So this is a good question to ask you. Where are you settling? Even it, it could be even, hi, Pamela. Hi, Tammy. How you could be even settling for your clothes, right? It, it's like, well, I dress, I'm really unique, Debbie, and I don't know if everybody would really like it. Too tough. Crapola, you know what I mean? 
you bring that uniqueness out. To me, settling is not allowing your uniqueness to come through. So people would be saying, maybe it's a different meaning for you, but for me and through what spirit is, is downloaded to me is if that, if we can tell people to bring their uniqueness forward, if we can bring your uniqueness forward, then you're not settling. It's like, I do my hair differently. I do my makeup differently. I wear my clothes differently. I go to work di in a different mode. I'm not like everybody else. If you're doing like, not like everybody else, then you're not settling and then you're going forward, right? It's like if everybody is just kind of marching forward and doing the same thing, then you're not your uniqueness and you're not going forward because then you're just in a comfort zone. It's kind of like me, I live in a small town. I have a home in, in Montana, I'm in California right now, but I have a home in, in Montana and I'm not cutting the people down, but a lot of people are just settling because they, they're feeling protected to just stay there. It's like, oh, I can't move. I, I can't move. It's family, friends. Well, then do some traveling. Do something unique. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, or create a space for yourself. So what are you settling for? This is a good question to ask yourself today. What am I settling for? So, and sometimes it can be really frightening, but that's, uh, I think with the frightening is that's the good vibe. That's, that feels good to go forward like that, doesn't it? It's like, Oh, and I jumped, and then you can tell everybody, I rode the roller coaster. You know what I mean? I wasn't being comfortable. So are you being comfortable? That's the question to ask yourself. Am I being comfortable, or am I allowing the uniqueness of me to come through? I've had people come to me because I do a lot of ghost hunting, too. I also talk because I talk to spirit. The spirit comes talk to me. And I even had people come to me and say, oh, Debbie, you can't be world known if you're, if you're doing ghost hunting and metaphysical work and, and being a coach and all at the same time, people aren't going to resonate with you. And I was like, no, that's one of my unique things that I can do is going into a home and doing ghost hunting. And I love it. So it, not to be in the fear of that. It's like, okay, well, if people don't want to connect with me because I can talk to spirits and I like doing ghost hunting, that I can't be in fear of that, that I'd lose clients because of that. Then they wouldn't want to be my clients, right? So ask yourself t today, what is it that's unique about me and that what if I keep on doing that's just comfortable? Like I said, change your hair color. Like me, I'm starting to wear my hair curly. And so some parts of me are like, eh, I'm just kind of afraid. But another part of me is like, hey, that's me. My hair is natural fuzzy curly, so <laughs> let it go through. And if people don't like it, oh well, you know what I mean? Because that's my uniqueness. So I think this is a good question to ask yourself. What am I settling for in relationship, in the way I look, uh, in work? What are you settling for? And if you say, well, Debbie, I'm settling because of the security and I'm um, getting benefits and all that stuff, yes, yes. So I get that, but then get an intention to go further. And you're like, well, at my work, I can't go further. Then do something on the side. Create your own business. Do your own thing. Okay, so uh, Brittany says, yes, people are meant to be our friends, will be attracted to our uniqueness. Exactly. Your job will be attracted to you. Your space that you're living in will be attracted to you. Your friends, your partners will be attracted to you because that will be your truth. And again, here I go. I'm telling people, I'm, I'm trying to teach you guys how your spiritual truth. So this is a good question to ask about your spiritual truth. What am I settling for? What am I comfortable for? And what is unique about me? And if you go, what what is unique about me and focus on that, then great. Is it to wear red lipstick or purple lipstick or wearing purple eyeshadow? And they're like, okay, that, Debbie, you know the one that wears purple eyeshadow and funky hair? Then my uniqueness, you're going to remember me, right? So bring your uniqueness out. Don't settle. And I'm hoping you guys have a great day. I'm going to send you blessings and smiles again you need a personal reading psychicdebbie.com please go to my youtube channel psychic debbie griggs put it all together subscribe like and comment okay i'm going to give you blessings and smiles bye bye